thank you very much for joining me. How you doing with this magnetic uh, G4 storm that's going on? Well, we just had another magnitude 6.0 earthquake. This will make the fifth one within the last 24 hours off the coast of Japan. No one said they felt this earthquake um, 65 kilometers south southeast of Hairu, Japan. 16.8 miles in depth and this was in fact a thrust earthquake. There's no tsunami warning. Haru, Japan, located in Hokkaido, is situated in a seismically active region due to its position along the convergent boundary between the Pacific Plate and the Okhotsk Plate. You know, it's part of the North American Plate, which is real interesting. This area is influenced by the complex tectonics of the Japan Trench, which is drawn out in red here. This is where the Pacific Plate subducts beneath the Okox Plate, leading to frequent earthquakes. The Okox Plate, which they consider a microplate, was formerly part of the North American Plate. The subduction uh, causing the bending on the downgoing plate of the Pacific Plate uh, created this deep trench. Yeah, the uh, um, solar flare that lasted for about three hours and then there was, I believe, three um, smaller flares that came in back to back. It's supposed to last for a couple days. So we're going to continue to see earthquakes as long as we don't get them along the San Andreas or the Cascadia subduction zone because, yeah, the ring of fire is really active. This is the sixth earthquake so far today. This is also close to the Hidaka collision zone. Yeah, and there's been quite a few earthquakes there. I talked about this in my last uh, report. I believe it was a 6.1. Now, that one was on the 31st yesterday. And then we had another one before that. A 6. Point, let me bring this. No, a 5.1. Now that one was on the 26th and then on the 22nd of last month there was a 5.4. It's been really active at this uh, conjunction. I have too much smoke here in South Dakota but evidently there was people who got to see the auroras early this morning late last night but not where I'm at. Yeah in my last video about the uh, G4 magnetic storm um, I talked about how it would create adverse weather. It would create earthquakes. If a volcano is ready to erupt, it would probably do that. Yeah, what about that one off the coast of um, Oregon? That's the Axel Volcano. Over here we got Oregon. They're expecting it to erupt this year. So I would say it's definitely primed. Scientists are saying that it would not create a tsunami. Uh, because it's too far off the coast and it's too deep. It is located directly over a hot spot where magma is coming up. The most recent eruption was in April and May of 2015. And then before that, in 2011, it had an eruption and they detected seismicity in January of 1998. Lava back then erupted from a 9-kilometer uh, long fissure, almost um, 6 miles long. And the uh, caldera there subsided by 3 meters during that eruption. In uh, 1983, uh, there was hydrothermal venting. Um, that's when it was first discovered. So if it does erupt, you know, you probably find some pumice washed up on the beaches here of Oregon. Yeah, you just don't know. Anyways, that's all I have for you right now. Yeah, five magnitude six so far this last 24 hours. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I will talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.